Now I'm gonna solve a question from this year's Bocconi test simulation. Um, 2 to the x equals x squared. In this question, I'm gonna offer an intuitive approach because I think that theoretical approach is too difficult to apply in a multiple choice exam. So first, let's try to draw two functions, 2 to the x, and x squared on the negative side, on the side where x are negative. 2 to the x approaches to 0 when x goes to infinity. Why? It's like thinking about 2 to the negative infinity. It's like 1 over 2 to the positive infinity and it goes to 0. So it approaches to 0 when x goes to negative infinity. It increases like this and when x is 0, as you all know, 2 to the x is 1. And it increases after that. What about x squared? As you know, x squared is a parabola. When x is 0, x squared is 0 as well. And here, it goes to negative infinity. Sorry, it goes to positive infinity when x goes to negative infinity and decreases and goes to point zero when x goes to zero. We can draw the parabola on the negative side. Hence, I am sure that there is one intersection point because 2 to the x strictly increases, x to square strictly decreases, and when x is negative, they have exactly one intersection point. What about when x is positive? So this is where I'm going to offer an intuitive approach. Let's check some points. When x is 0, as you can see, 2 to the x is 1, x squared is 0, and 2 to the x is greater. When x is 1, 2 to the x is 2, x squared is 1. When x is 2, 2 to the x is 4, x squared is 4, first intersection on the positive side. When x is 3, 2 to the x is 8, x squared is 9, now x squared is greater, see that. When x is 4, 2 to the x is 16, x squared is 16 again, second intersection point. When x is 5, 2 to the x is 32, x squared is 25. Now, 2 to the x is always greater. So, it's like when x is 2, there is an intersection. And let me draw that better. When x squared is 2, there is an intersection. And when, when x is 4, there is another intersection. So, there are two more intersection points. Hence, we have in total three solutions to the equation. So um, you can ask, what if there are other points, like um, let's say 2.5, they intersect. You know, uh, that's why I said I will offer an intuitive approach. I think uh, it's for this exam, it's sufficient to check a few points, uh, a few integers. In this question on the positive side and after 4 for example you can clearly see that 2 to the x is um, growing uh, a lot faster so I am kind of sure that uh, when x is greater than 4 there is no more intersection points so and um, it's better not to worry about um, you know uh, the points where x is not an integer so with an intuitive approach we can say that um, there are three equations, there are three solutions to this equation.